course, you just saw that. And as we've reported to you, Oregon's governor has also deployed National Guard members to more than 20 hospitals, all to try to help with the surge. You can catch Janet Shemlian's live and Medford report tonight during the CBS Evening News at 630 right here on Coin 6. I was in induced coma for about three or four weeks. Came out of it, and first thing I remember is my wife um, saying, how you doing, Sparky? And I didn't know where I was or why I was. Coin six going beyond the headlines, hearing from Oregonians who survived COVID after fighting for their lives in a hospital ICU. Our Lisa Balick spoke with a Portland area survivor. She joins us live from Southwest Portland with that story, Lisa. Yeah, Bridal Mile Elementary School is where hundreds of kids loved learning with their teacher, Mr. Barty. Now the former teacher is doing a bit of a show and tell for us about his tale of surviving COVID. He spent weeks in the ICU. His message right now is to please get a vaccine and mask up to avoid his trauma. Rick Barty got COVID in January, just before the vaccine was available. The former Portland grade school teacher spent more than two months in the hospital at OHSU, weeks in an induced coma. He had a collapsed lung, put on the ECMO heart and lung machine to survive. He tells me at one point, he just wanted it to be over. He is begging others to get vaccinated. Why you're not protecting yourself from further illnesses or death and protecting those around you, I don't get it. People need to take this as serious as it is. I am a walking, talking, living example of what COVID does. And I wouldn't wish this on the, my worst enemy. It's horrible. Now, Bart. Barty, by the way, was vaccinated once he left the hospital. He says he's got lingering health issues from COVID. He tells me it was the strong will and care from OHSU hospital staff and his wife that helped him fight and managed to recover. Again, he's telling his story to thank all the teams of healthcare workers who helped him survive. And again, putting out that message that please get vaccinated, mask up and avoid just the horror that he went through. I'll have more in his story coming up today at five. Live in Southwest Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.